question I get a lot is like, oh, you're so lucky you got a partner who supports your cycling addiction. It's like, mate, it's not luck. There's fucking choice. There's no motherfucking way I would be with anyone who didn't support my addiction for cycling or vegan life. Like, like, what are you fucking, are you fucking tripping, man? That's not my reality, bro. I've been in that reality. Like, it's like, it's not my reality no more, bro. Why the fuck would you stay with someone who doesn't support positive fucking habits? Are you fucking tripping, bro? Are you fucking tripping? Man, it's not luck. Like, leave pass, hall pass, oh, I got two hours in. Like, what the fuck, man? Man, what sort of lifestyle is that? I would give them the fucking ultimatum. I'd say, look, you know, this is really important to stay healthy and fit. I love cycling. It's me or the bike, baby. What are you going to choose? The, I come with the bike. You know, and you don't have to be aggressive about it, but you just got to be honest, have the balls or the ovaries to say, look, you know, this is how it is. If you don't like it, that's fine. There's the door. Take it or leave it, sweetie. There's so many single girls out there who into cycling. So many single guys into cycling. And so if you're leaking, oh, you know, like, you know, do you understand how many people would like to have a partner who's into veganism or into cycling and shit like that, or both? So if you're with someone who's not supporting that, it's just, phew, tell them to fuck off. Be buddies with them. Don't be fucking partners with them. If you're going to partner up with someone, you got to make sure they're fucking on the same page, man. Don't ever settle for second best. Fuck that. Get out of there. If you've got kids with them and they're still rainbows, just fuck them off. If the kids aren't supported, fuck the kids off. Put them up for adoption, just fuck them off, mate. Say, look, kids, here's the fucking deal. This is what we're going to fucking eat. This is what we're going to do every day. We're going to have a lot of fun. You're in or you're fucking out. Are you in or you're fucking out. If you're in, let's fucking do it. If you're out, go and live with your fucking dad or your mum or whoever the fuck you want to live with, cunt, because this is what I do. And that's just how it is, bro. That's how we roll. That's not... That's my... You, you're in my reality now, if you want it, all right? And my reality is I wake up every fucking morning and I go, where do I want to ride today? Who do I want to ride with? What do I want to do? Blah, blah, blah. And Freddie's like, I want to go riding today, you know? She likes mountains. I love mountains. We need mountains in our life. We base our house choices on what is a good Strava location, good close to the hills, you know? So it's not about luck, man. It's more about making it fucking happen, attacking life so it fucking works for you, mate. Otherwise, you're just gonna get to, you're gonna get one day in your life, you're gonna go, man, what have I done? I've just wasted my life for working a job I hate to buy shit I don't need to put food in, on the table for family that doesn't even fucking support what I'm really fucking passionate about. And that's fucked, man, what have you created? Un unravel that and just basically give the fucking ultimatum. It's me or the fucking bike, motherfuckers. And again, just, Say it with humor, say it with honesty, say it with openness, create an environment where you can have that sort of communication with your family, with your partner, etc. But you've got to fucking draw a line in the sand, man. Don't waste another day in your life waking up next to someone who's like, you're going to go ride your bike again, would it be at me? Like, fuck that. Fuck that.